panawagan ng PETA o ng People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals maging vegetarian. Bukod daw kasi sa mga maililigtas na hayop taon-taon, makakatulong rin daw ito laban sa climate change. Kung paano maging vegetarian, alamin natin sa live report ni Joseph Morong mula sa Quezon City. Joseph? Jessica, provocative art ang ginagamit ng grupong People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, so PETA, no, para ikampanya ang vegetarianism. Sabi nila, bukod sa benepisyo sa katawan, ay makakatulong ka pa sa kalikasan kung, idaw, kung ikaw daw ay magiging vegetarian o vegan. Inihaw na baboy! Inihaw na manok! Ginataang alimasag! Nakakatakam, hindi ba? Pero handa ka bang talikuran ito sa ngalan ng vegetarianism? Ito ang panawagan ng grupong People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, so PETA. Para makapukaw ng pansin, pinagpost nila ng semi-nude at may body paint ang beauty queen at model ni si Sandra Seifert. It is a painting of the earth, basically from a universe perspective. Yeah, and I really liked it. Um, it was my first time to ever get painted. Um, on my body. It's basically a provocative way to draw attention to a very serious message and really this method having a nearly naked model uh, posing for a campaign like this, it just gets people's attention. It turns some heads, it raises some eyebrows, but all in all at the end of the day those people know that the best way to prevent animal suffering is to go vegetarian. Ayon sa PETA, makakapagligtas ka ng tinatayang isang daang hayop sa isang taon kung magiging vegetarian ka at makakabawas para sa polusyon. At maniwala rin ako sa hindi ayon sa isang pag-aaral ng University of Chicago, mas epektibo raw kontra climate change ang pagiging vegetarian kesa sa pagpapalit ng isang standard na kotse sa hybrid na tipo. Makakatipid rin daw ng 95,000 gallons ng tubig kada taon ang pagiging vegan o hindi pagkain ng karne, dairy products at animal byproducts. So eating meat is one of the top causes of producing methane, which is a gas that destroys our atmosphere and causes global warming. Si Seifert, labing apat na taon na raw na vegetarian at sabi niya, hindi naman raw ito mahirap gawin. It's actually pretty fun. There's always something to talk about, you know. When people sit with me and eat with me, it's like, why are you vegetarian? How do you do it? Um, you're missing out. But... I tell them, listen, it's not that hard, and no, I'm not missing out because there's all this great food that I can eat too. So I'll have pizza, I'll have pasta, I'll have sandwiches, salads, fruits, just no meat in there, and it still tastes as good. Pero si Seifert na rin ang magsasabi na kailangan ng disiplina sa sarili at commitment para maging vegan or vegetarian. Sabi naman ng pita, hindi na raw mahirap gawin ito. Being vegetarian has never been easier. There's such a growing movement in the Philippines of natural food and vegetarian food, and it's just becoming more and more popular. Jessica, bahagi yung kampanya na yan ng uh, inaasang pagdiriwang o pagunita ng Earth Day sa April 22, Jessica. Okay, Joseph, siguro kailangan natin i-emphasize kung mm-hmm. ano ang koneksyon ng pagiging vegetarian dun sa climate change. No? In a nutshell, kasi pag kumain ka ng karne, mm-hmm. uh, you uh, release no? uh, methane and this is bad for the environment. That's correct, ma'am. In a just in a nutshell, no? uh, kasi yung production ng meat naman ay uh, hindi lang yan basta uh, karne na dumadating sa hapagkainan natin. Mm-hmm. May dinalaan siya, pinapalaki yan, at tapos may kailangan lupa na kung saan na inaalagaan yung mga baboy o kaya yung mga baka. No? And then yung transportation, of course. At tapos maraming yung, yung production, yung, yung technology behind the production, uh, tapos pati yung pinaproduce nga na methane, uh, contributes to the uh, destruction of the planet, Jessica. Okay, may isang ta- Anong lang ako sa pita? Talagang every time they ask uh, a celebrity to uh, to promote uh, being vegetarian, laging uh, it involves some uh, degree of uh, undressing, tama ba? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> <Or> art. <laughs> well, for some for some people it's art, no. Pero ang uh, yung kasing ganyang klase ng provocative art, no? it gets mm-hmm. the attention. Eh. Kung baga, if you don't care about vegetarianism or yung mga campaigns, if you see uh, somebody who's good looking and then semi-nude and then uh, paint, body paint, it gets mm-hmm. your attention. And then, pag nakuha na yung attention mo, yung, yung, yung pagbibigay ng mensahe becomes easier. And then you can uh, uh, educate people about uh, whatever cause you have. In this case, sa PETA is uh, vegetarianism. Jessica. Okay. Pero kanina, uh, the model was wearing... Uh, body paint. 
Yes, right? ma'am. Yung upper mm-hmm. half niya. The bottom mm-hmm. is she's wearing jeans. Pero yung uh, upper half niya is uh, she's painted as the uh, parang uh, the earth, no? Parang yung mundo from uh, the perspective of from the outer space. So yung mga continents and then yung mga dagat na sa kanyang oh, uh, katawan. Oh, yung pala mga mapa pala yun yung right, nakapinta ma'am. sa kanyang katawan. Correct. Pero nice word ha. Provocative art. Maraming <laughs> salamat, Joseph Morong.